Bismillah Rahman Rahim. I am Dr. Muhammad Mehtab Alam and I am discussing about introduction to medical ethics. So autonomy. Autonomy means freedom. Doctor can decide, doctor is free to take any decision, but decision should not be uh, you can say against the patient. So let's discuss what comes under autonomy. Capacity to think, decide, and take actions. Mental incompetence. Mental incompetence means no autonomy. Autonomy versus paternalism. Paternalism is what? Where doctor have high power. And patient does not have any power. That is called paternalism. When patient not autonomous. When patient is not independent. No clash. And when patient autonomous. Questionable procedure. When patient is independent, patient know maybe something, then patient can ask many questions. So it is questionable procedure. Truth telling. This is important in medical professions. If you override it, you endanger doctor-patient relationship based on trust. You offend against the principles of autonomy. And at times, there are good reasons for overriding the truth-telling principles. Now, confidentiality. Act against this principle and you destroy patient trust. If you, you are not able to keep patient information confidential, then maybe patient will go out from you. Clash when keeping confidentiality would harm others. Example, child abuse. And should patient have access to their notes against layman unable to cope with data? This is against opinions, not fact, cause anxiety. And third party information, defensive medicine, all these are going to the against of medical ethics. And what is for? Data belongs to patient. Data belongs to patient, so try to keep uh, that data in a hidden or in a secret format. Don't disclose with anyone. So this is for. Then accuracy improved by sharing. When you share, when you discuss with your friends, with your colleagues uh, uh, about the disease, about the treatment, about the procedure, then it will help you to improve your quality.